Picture this. You're offered a job at a top secret facility located deep underground. They offer to pay you a ton of money and your job is that you have to feed prisoners to an entity, but you never see what that entity is. Do you take the job? Well, it doesn't matter what your answer is because that's what the game today is about. The game that we're playing today is called Entity Room. And basically that's the premise. You get a new job at a high security facility where you're literally feeding people to a monster. Obviously, things are a little more complicated than that, but you'll just have to watch the full video to see. This is actually by the same developer that did Missing Hiker, and I really enjoyed that game even though it was pretty short. I know this video is pretty short, but don't worry, I have another long video coming pretty soon. I just wanted to show you guys this game because I thought it was pretty cool and just wanted to give you guys some more content. But alright guys, let's jump right in. Alright, let's get it. Entity Room. February 18th, 1987. First day at the new section. I hope everything goes well. Oh, damn, and, and we just in. Okay. Press F to use flashlight. Nice, nice. I love having a flashlight at the start of the game. Can't get any better than that. All right, so it seems we just got to work in our underground lab. I love the detail already. I've been following this game's progress on Twitter and stuff, and they would post, uh, you know, like, little screenshots or videos here and there. What a nice place to work. Ooh. All right. I think we're stuck in here for now. Okay, press E to use door. Let's let's take a look this way. All right, some big cracks in the wall here. Some heavy doorways. Oh. That's a nice little stain. Someone's knocking. Can I mop this up? Okay, maybe I don't know how to mop yet. We'll figure it out later. Uh, light? Nice. I haven't finished all tasks for today. Some kind of phone or something. All right, I think we, ooh. All right, definitely not opening that door. Definitely not opening that door. Um, doors. Okay. Oh, so all these doors just lead into this one room? Okay, definitely don't want to open those. Error. Well, that's not good. Okay, so this is the guy whose head was banging on that one wall. Okay, this one's dead. Okay, this guy might be alive. Yeah, are they like snacks for the entity? And then this is an error, so that's not good. Email. From ERF, this is an automatic email, do not reply, description of Entity 14, highly dangerous, of terrestrial origin, bipedal, uncanny, human-like appearance, skin doesn't reflect light, glowing red eyes, body mass consists mostly of human meat, develops more human-like appearance over time, doesn't kill prey before eating, extremely agile, can jump far distances, Loki kind of sounds like a mimic, incidents, 040884 total power failure resulting in E14 escaping the room and killing the operator. 081786 redacted. Why is it redacted? Disclaimer by partaking in this operation you agree that the entity research facility also known as ERF will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. You guys really shouldn't take jobs like this. If it says that you're just going to take physical harm and it's not their fault, definitely definitely don't do that. All right, from Matt onboarding. Hello, my name is Matt. I was assigned to take care of onboarding you. So your job is actually pretty easy. The entity needs to be fed once a day with exactly one prisoner. Do that, just open the door R1 in through your computer. After it was eaten, the respective room needs to be cleaned. Open the door R1 out through your computer. You'll need a strong stomach, but you get used to it. First throw body parts, if there are any left, into the container, then clean the blood with the mop. Best regards, Matt. Wow, so we're literally just feeding prisoners to this thing. 
All right, well, I guess we'll get started. Okay. I think it's safe to say that that guy is gone. <laughs> boy, oh boy. All right. Um, let me just make sure that door is closed. Okay, I opened R1 out, so time to go clean the room. Also, can we just admire the toilet here? A truly magnificent toilet situation we got. Ah, that's gross. <laughs> What even was that an arm what is this some intestines rose liver or something all right let's mop this up real quick yeah i don't think that mop's gonna do the work i'm gonna be real okay i way to prove me wrong all right that was easy enough let's uh make sure that that door gets closed all right, fantastic. Now, bro is locked in. Uh, new email from Matt. Hey, good job. Looks like you're a natural. Have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays, they even have a night vision mode. Pretty heckin' cool if you ask me. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, while the entity is eating, the CCTV is taken offline. We don't want our operators to be disturbed. Anyway, you're done for the day. You can go to sleep already if you want. Tomorrow will be pretty similar. Feed the entity, clean the room, rinse and repeat. Kind regards, Matt. All right, pretty easy job. Um, I don't like that. I, I just have to like sleep down here though. Like how long am I going to be down here for? I should turn the lights off first. Oh, that's totally not creepy. Also, why does the entity just have access to my room? I feel like that shouldn't be a thing. Good night. Yeah, imagine if the alarm went off. All right. I think that's that's the good alarm. The <laughs> oh. Uh, the power's out. Wonderful. Power failure. Good morning. You probably saw the lights aren't working. Don't worry. It's basic maintenance on one of our electricity generators. It's just the lights. Everything else still works fine. Just use your flashlight. Today will be pretty similar to yesterday. Press the button R2 in to open the door so that the entity can have a feast with the prisoner in room two. The entity wants breakfast. Don't let it wait. P.S. Don't forget to clean the room afterwards. Kind regards, Matt. All right. I mean, I guess, we, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Well, bye bye prisoner two. I don't know if you're sleeping or dead already, but if you are not dead, you're not going to be alive for long. All right, nice. Time to go clean up. Okay. Let's go pick up the left. Ooh, fuck. All right, let's get this done quickly. I think you had your breakfast for today, man. That's enough. Okay, that seems to be all the leftover meat. Let me get my mop. Let's mop this up. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's put that back and uh, let's get back to the office. Now, this is only entity 14. I'm curious how many entities they have. Doors close. All right, cool. Doors closed. Great. Uh, great work. Good job again, dude. You really are a natural. I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche, but trust me, those people we're feeding to the entity are scum. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people. They should be happy that they're allowed to contribute to this experiment. We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. Anyway, our research on Entity 14 could lead to breakthroughs not just for military, but also medical purposes. Always keep that in mind when doing your work. 
P.S. You're done for the day. All right, so I guess we shouldn't feel bad, but it's a little, it's a little brutal, you know. All right. Night night. Um. What door was that? Lights still don't work. Oh, it doesn't even tell me what door it is. Day three. Day three, not that ex exciting now, is it? Usually that's the point where your work is becoming a boring routine. Anyway, you probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, take a shit, bust a nut, go to sleep. I'm just joking, haha. It's important to have a sense of humor working in an environment like this. Anyway, tomorrow a new batch of prisoners will arrive, fresh meat. Don't worry, they're handcuffed and our guards will bring them into their rooms. Just make sure those rooms are clean. We don't want them to be uncomfortable. PS the entity room camera works again. You guys ready to see the entity? Also, why does bro leave a winky face at the end of every paragraph? It's just a little sketchy. It's just a little weird, Matt. Well, that lasted a long time. What door opened? All the doors are closed. And the one right here is closed. I'm confused. All right, R3 in. Okay, sounds like my guy got eaten. Yep, there's all of his organs and body parts. Still an error, great. Why did it show me a door open and none of the doors look open? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Nice. We got a foot. Anybody want feet pics from this guy? Too late now. Is that a brain? Maybe more intestines. Okay. We'll clean up the floor. I should remove the body parts first. Oh, oh, that's a head there. Oh, my bad. I didn't see the head. My bad. What's up, cutie? Damn, I guess bro wasn't that hungry today. Left a lot of leftover meat there. All right, cool. You know, I love how they fixed the camera, but they didn't fix the lights. You would think the lights would be fixed first, but whatever. All right, R3 out. Close. Okay. Um, all right, no email or anything, so I guess time to go to sleep. Yeah. And we're supposed to get new prisoners in tomorrow. So that should be good. All right, let's check. Email, new email. Read this. They want to get rid of you, hide? All right, so that was the game Entity Room. I do feel like it was a part of the plan all along for them to end up feeding me to the entity. I mean, come on, the door in my room was a little unnecessary. It was like they wanted it to open at one point so it could come eat me. Also in the log in the beginning, we see that one of the incidents that happened was a few years before the entity broke out and ate the person behind the desk, which is literally what happened here. So clearly, I don't know, They, I guess we're just extra meat to them. But let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments down below if you think I missed anything or if you noticed anything that I didn't. But I hope you guys enjoyed the short little video. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 200k before the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.